There's a big announcement coming in Chattanooga involving a business inside the Bijou building. Today we learned it will be a large rock climbing gym available to tourists and residents. News Channel 9's Karen Zaklak joins us now with the news and how it will affect another similar facility. Karen. Kim, the River City Company is officially announcing the project tomorrow, but we learned some details today from another rock climbing gym. They say while it may be good for the city, it could be an unfair advantage that will hurt their bottom line. There will soon be a new reason for tourists to travel to downtown Chattanooga, located inside the old Bijou building on Broad Street. A rock climbing gym like this one. I think it will be very good for Chattanooga. Anything that's going on downtown that brings business in will be good for Chattanooga. Those visiting the area and rock climbers living and working in the city are excited about the new company. I think it's awesome. I think it's great. Um, we have a huge climbing community here in Chattanooga, so I mean, I think it's something that this area really needs. But some are concerned about the competition moving in. Urban Rocks, located a few miles away off Amnicola. It was pretty heartbreaking, truthfully. Becky Robrin opened the gym in 2009 after pouring her and her partner's life savings into the business. About a million dollars. She says competition is one thing, but a fair playing field is another. We just are afraid that on top of straining the um, climbing gym market in town, that will also be setting up an unfair competitive advantage for the new gym. That's because the River City Company is supporting the new facility. It's a nonprofit with strong ties to local government and a track record of successful projects and powerful partnerships. We believe that will make a huge difference um, in terms of, again, just the publicity that that gym will receive. On the phone today, River City's president said while they do stand behind the new company, they did not give that business any incentives or use any taxpayer dollars in the project. They tell us they're leasing the building for market rate and hope the new gym will only grow the climbing community in our area. River City went on to say that the Bijou has been on the market for three years and they would have been open to discussions with other local business owners. They say they just wanted the right place to move in and helped grow the downtown. Kim. Karen, thank you very much.